Welcome to Jinguin Corner guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the area chart and scatter chart in your Java FX program. So I have an empty application and I'm going to add the graphs or charts from the uh, scene builder to the FXML file and I have opened the FXML document file in my scene builder and first thing you, we have to do is we have to add the area chart both of these chart use similar data uh, in order to render the chart so that's why we are using both of them in a single application so okay now we have one chart two charts let's give it a name I mean area chart we have to name it as area chart and you can see the name here and scatter chart scatter chart again you can give names for your XY axis this is my X axis so I am gonna give X axis and this is my Y axis Y Similarly, you can apply the X and Y titles for scatter chart also. But let us do that later. Here, I have to give a variable name for these charts and the area chart variable. Let the variable name area chart and the name of scatter chart be scatter chart. So that's it. Just save the FXML document and get the control skeleton from view show sample control set skeleton and we have two variables here fxml variables and I am copying it copy and paste so that's it uh, I have to import the headers for these variables and that's it we got and the thing is both of these chart use xy chart class uh, uh, to represent the data and this is the definition this is the syntax for the data I mean xy chart dot series class and its object is series and you can add data to series object using series dot get data dot add and this one represent the x axis label and 23 is the data uh, let us associate this data with our chart using area chart dot set data and or get data add and that's it series and we can set the data for scatter chart also using this same method scatter chart dot get data and let us run the program so that's it here we have set the scatter chart for this I mean uh, the one is here and we can see a small one right here it will e the area chart will be visible only after a number of values so we can add a little bit more data I mean two three four five six seven and the 23 11 45 35 23 45 98 let's see how it looks like so see we have got a beautiful chart for the given data and one more thing we have to understand is we can add a number of series into a single graph and it can be done using replicating the series I'm just replicating the xy chart object and giving a name series 1 and series 1 series 1 changing all the values and for the same labels I'm using some other values like 111 100 what would it be just 99 145 so that's it and um, we, uh, we have to change this add to add all and change this series to series series 1 in order to include 
both of these series and let's run it and you can see that we got the graph so this is the second this is the first chart and this is the second chart for the value 1 we have 23 and 111 which is exactly this is 111 so that's it that's how you use ADA chart and scatter chart in your program thank you for watching subscribe for more poll videos